Well, the gist of it is rooted in the age-old concept of turning something old into something new. And this man right here is taking it to a whole new level. Arthur Huang holds a master's degree in architecture from Harvard, where he specialized in sustainable development and renewable energy. In 2005, he co-founded MiniWiz, a company that develops and sells materials that are 100% recycled from waste. The exterior is made from PET bottles. The fenestration mm -hmm. are all made from recycled PC from e-waste. And all the bones of the structure is made from um, what we call uh, recycled steel formwork from the highway construction. I mean, you can call it literally a piece of trash, yeah. but I also think just misplaced resources, that's right. all. Built as an exhibition hall during the 2010 Taipei International Flora Expo, the EcoArc is one impressive work. Made from 1.5 million recycled plastic bottles, this massive pavilion is even strong enough to withstand the forces of nature, including fire, earthquakes, and typhoons. The use of recycled plastic bottles isn't the only eco-friendly feature of the EcoArc. The pavilion was built with low-carbon building techniques to maintain a zero-carbon footprint during operation. And with its natural ventilation, the building stays cool without the need for air conditioning. They collect and reuse rainwater to keep temperatures low. The polybricks also provide insulation from heat, and their transparency allows natural light to enter during the day. Oh, and did I mention that solar and wind-powered systems power the 40,000 LEDs that light the building up at night? So, calling this place eco-friendly is really an understatement. This building is the future of urban design and architecture. The whole idea is the whole thing can be recycled. Like, I just undo the screw, I check out a panel, I can take all this, every component is reduced back to single material. Wow. Like, without, like, gluing them together. So what's the building used for now? I mean, still exhibitions, right? Yes, art exhibitions. Art exhibitions, but, uh, okay. It's not fine art type. Uh -huh. It's definitely designed for mass public art, mm -hmm. performing arts. What would it cost uh, back then to build this? It was actually three million US dollars to begin with. And then I kind of like, you know, squeeze in a little here and there to push the budget to four. There's a similar size building right across the street, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, down a couple of blocks, constructed at the same time, under government traditional budget. That building is 40 million. All these people wasting stuff, it's just completely ridiculous. From fast fashion to all the disposable throwaways. This is one of the biggest wastes of our modern technology, resources, and culture, okay? So how do you make that into something that's constantly reusable and become a valuable resource for us to build something else in the future? Right now, we are taking the technology we have accumulated, we're turning that into robots. These portable robotic machines, mm -hmm. okay? And we are actually bringing the machine where the trash is happening. The trash presso machine they've developed is the ultimate expression of sustainable upcycling. It's a portable solid waste recycling unit that can turn 50 kilograms of plastic bottles an hour into low cost building material for homes. From plastic bottles to floor tiles in under 60 minutes. And the cherry on top? It's solar powered. What's your best scenario for where you can go with this? The best scenario is to make trash into a currency. Right. So the more valuable the transformation is, the more valuable the trash is. Mm -hmm. Then nobody's throwing away trash. Yeah. And then, then, hence, then you don't ship trash to third world country anymore. Mm -hmm. And hence, you reduce the carbon footprint. So I feel like this will benefit the people who is working with us and also benefit ourselves, right, as a group, as a group of concerned citizens. Mm -hmm.